Welcome to another Super Deluxe Edition unboxing video. Today we're going to take a look at the new Porcupine Tree album, which is called Closure Continuation. Of course, this is the first album since 2009 for Stephen Wilson's band, which he started decades ago. He's released many solo albums since then, but this is um, Porcupine Tree, which is himself, Gavin Harrison and Richard Barbieri creating a new record they've been working on this on and off for the last decade so there's a number of formats for this album all in the similar kind of sparse black and white kind of styly this is very much the theme so you've got pt porcupine tree cc closure continuation so yeah these initials these are the tracks on the album so there's a few extra on here which we'll look at in a minute but the the seven album tracks are Harridan which is that H of the new day OTND, Rats Return RR, Dignity D, Herd Culling HC and then Walk the Plank and Chimera's Wreck but there's a couple of others in there but I'll get I'll get into that in a minute so what we're looking at here is the probably what most of you will be most interested in i think which is the two cd and blu-ray deluxe edition of closure continuation so obviously it's a large format package um some nice attention to detail with this this sort of spot varnishing in a, in a in a square shape is a theme that we'll see across all the formats or most of them anyway it's actually a little bit of sort of embossing going on here and then same on the back actually this is actually a sticker a glossy sticker so yes yeah, so let's open this up and take a look at the packaging it's actually quite straightforward um maybe surprisingly so but uh, we've got a, a kind of 12 by 12 perfect band booklet again you know some quality sort of embossing and uh, spot varnishing and stuff so it definitely feels nice quality and yes, this is, um, it's got this lyrics in here, lots and lots of artwork connected to the general art direction of the record. But yeah, so we have got lyrics where appropriate. I mean, this isn't one of those books where it goes in, into a deep dive about the making of the album. So you can kind of get a feel for the content. It's very much a new record, sort of styled as such. So that's the booklet which comes with the two CD Blu-ray Deluxe. Now there's, so for the actual discs themselves, this is, it's one of these folio affairs, you know, same, same thing. They've got some embossing and some spot varnishing. But you open this up, this is sort of gatefold record type thing. A bit, this is not dissimilar to the Ultravox ones actually that Chrysalis were putting together. It's quite lightweight, it feels maybe too lightweight. The three discs are in here, they're the two CDs and the Blu ray. I don't particularly like this kind of packaging for Blu ray, it's quite surprising they've done this. Even in the Beatles box sets, sometimes the Blu ray goes in its own case, even when the CDs don't, because the more delicate nature of the Blu ray disc. Okay, so what do we get on these? three CDs. So CD one is the album, so it's a seven track album. That's pretty standard. And then CD two, you get quite a lot of bonus content on this CD. You get three bonus tracks, which are Population Three, Never Have, and Love in the Past Tense. Then you get the whole album as instrumentals, and that's it actually. So you get you get it's effectively a ten track CD, three bonus tracks the album as instrumentals and this is a blu-ray audio and the content as far as this is concerned is the album itself is a 9624 stereo version high res a 5.1 mix and a dolby atmos mix so two spatial audio mixes and one standard high res stereo mix now controversially perhaps None of the bonus material which is on CD is on this Blu-ray. Stephen Wilson has been very generous with his Blu-ray versions of his albums in the past. They're normally packed with content. So, you know, definitely a little bit surprising that 
some of that bonus material, especially maybe the instrumentals. I could understand not mixing all those bonus tracks into various spatial audio mixes, but I thought maybe they would have put the instrumentals on here. So yes, that's a sort of mildly surprising. But overall, across the three discs, the content is still pretty good and, and what you'd expect really from a deluxe edition. So that goes back in there. I mean, the only thing about this which is annoying is you can't, because they're not in their own little packaging, you can't take them out and put them on the shelf. So everything's going to have to remain in here. But that's it for the optical disc, the deluxe edition. Yeah, so the booklet and the folio slide into there. And that's the deluxe edition. So that's about £55. You'll have to decide whether you think that's good value. I think, I think it's okay for what you get. I don't think it's... You know, you're getting a you're getting a Blu-ray with a Dolby Atmos mix as a physical product. You're getting a, a bonus CD with instrumentals and bonus tracks, and you're getting the album on CD as well. So I, I think um, I don't think it's bad value at all. And let's take a look at some of the deluxe editions for the new album. First of all, this is the two LP set on transparent blue vinyl. Again very nicely presented in terms of the the touchy feeliness you've got the spot varnishing etc uh, it's not a gatefold it's a wide spine sleeve so the two inner sleeves come out like that so these are numbered one two sides one two three four and these this is a 33 rpm pressing side one you get harridan of the new day side two you get rats return and dignity and there's the very nice transparent blue vinyl. Even though these are inner sleeves, you're still getting spot varnishing. So still a high quality presentation. And then the second disc here, so you've got Herd Culling and Walk the Plank, side three, and Chimera's Wreck, which is a long track on its own on side four. Lyrics, more spot varnishing, another blue vinyl record. This is about £30, so double coloured vinyl record, uh, spot varnishing all over the place. £30 is pretty good value, I think, especially these days. So that's a 2LP set, but there was a 3LP 45 RPM set, so let's have a look at that. Yeah, so if you're a vinyl fan and you want to take it to the next level in terms of presentation and sound quality, then you might want to go for the 3LP vinyl box set. Three LPs might sound like overkill for a seven track album, but this does come with two of the three bonus tracks, which are on the CD and Blu-ray box set. So very much the same kind of style as is, as you can see, there's the spot varnish. So these are the initials for the songs as before. Uh, there's a couple of extra ones. So the bonus tracks here, that's NH is never have. That's one of the bonus tracks from the bonus CD in the other box set and then population three is an instrumental so that's the second of the three bonus tracks so there's still one of those bonus tracks that's exclusive to the CD box set as a physical product so this is three individually sleeved vinyl records a bit like the other vinyl um, it's the same kind of quality presentation they've actually done it slightly differently this time so you've got a b CD and EF instead of one, two, three, four. But it's an opportunity to show off some more of the artwork from the album. So these are on, actually, I should say these are, this is on clear vinyl, three clear vinyl records, 45 RPM. So in this instance, side A has Harridan on it, and side B has Of the New Day and Rats Return. This is the second of the three records same kind of inner sleeve so dignity is on side c and never have which is one of the bonus tracks is on side d along with herd culling so it's interesting i think it's probably more to make them fit that the uh, i was going to say it's interesting that the bonus tracks are, are mixed in with the album but i just think i don't think logistically with the lengths of some of the tracks they could have left them to the end i don't think that would have worked same thing very nice clear vinyl and then finally, I do like the golfing image here. So we're on to sides E and F. So walk the plank, population three, which is the bonus track, it's the instrumental. 
the Chimera's Rack, which is the long song at the end. The lyrics and everything are on are on here. There we have it. So a really nice, high quality presentation of the album across three forty five RPM records. I mean this is about sixty pounds I think. You know, definitely pricey for a new album, but um vinyl's very expensive these days, so it's not I wouldn't say it's over the top for three vinyl records. So there it is in the outer slipcase. I think this is a bit of a limited edition unlike some of the other versions. And then finally for a bit of fun I thought we'd highlight the cassette version. Now uh, hey I know not many of us are playing cassettes but I do like the way that they've made a bit of an effort here. It's not it's not a Duran Duran style sort of CD single cardboard sleeve. It comes in a proper case, printed cassette. The inlay is actually quite good so you know you actually get all the lyrics it folds out so i think as cassettes go they've done a nice job with this so i hope you've enjoyed this look at closure continuation in its various editions it was released last week and at the moment it's looking like it may well go to number one in the uk charts on friday or well, that could be the commentator's curse but in in midweek it was number one in the uk so I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing video. If you have, why not subscribe to the Super Deluxe Edition YouTube channel for more great physical music unboxed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.